This is the eighth one of the world introducing compound interest. Welcome, stock market investors. Today, I'll be going over the finance, finance sector, part six. This will be the last part in the finance sector. Tomorrow, I, be, I will be doing the cannabis sector. I'm going to give you guys, I got five companies for the cannabis sector. And then after the cannabis sector, I'll be doing the, the tobacco sector. So before I get into that, this is my current portfolio as of Friday. And as you know, I don't look at the day, one day, one week. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to waste your time with all this three months, uh, one year. This is, this is pretty much my grade point average, cumulative. So this is what I'm always going to show you. This is what, what you always have to look at is your, your all. And right now I'm at 5.13%. So um, as you can see, my current portfolio is uh, 6K. So, I mean, moving on up little by little. So it's pretty much this concept that I'm investing. It's pretty much how I go to the gym and I build my muscle little by little. Not quick gains like I see the young cats in there with their Mustangs and uh, daddy's BMW and uh, with, their, with their protein drinks. I mean... Yeah, they're big, but they got their big fast, and it doesn't last. So it's always uh, it's always ups and downs. So the faster you get to something, the ho when you hit hard bottom, you're gonna hit it hard, you know. And I've noticed a lot of them, you know, because of the cold weather, you don't see them around. But it's that's why I go in there daily, working out because of my strategy, the strategy that I use in the gym. I use the same strategy in investing. Little small gains, little by little. That's how you build your strength, you know, and you keep it and you, you, you're you solid and it's going to last. You know, with me, my protein, I do one protein after a workout. But other than that, I, I'm not slurping on it the entire day as a replacement meal. You know, I still eat my, my eggs, tuna, steak, uh, chicken, eggs, cottage cheese, peanut butter, uh, Pretty much, that's what I'm in. Uh, that's how I'm building my portfolio, which is my my muscle, my body. You know, so I'm building my portfolio with uh, pretty much natural proteins. You know, not just yeah, okay, that uh, that'll help. Uh, you know, just a little, but it's not gonna stick. So, and this is pretty much my concept in investing. Is pretty much real solid protein. My portfolio is gonna stick. You look at everybody else's, just ask them, hey, how's your all looking? You know, because that's what you, you know, the, the investors that have been around for five, uh, more than five years, tell them to go to your all. They don't, they never do it. They always stop at one year. They'll stop right here and then they'll never go here because this is their pretty much their GPA, their cumulative GPA throughout the entire, their entire investing career. So that's what you want to look at. So, and that's what I'm learning because I, you know, I'm watching hundreds of hun uh, hundreds of uh, investing videos on everybody, you know, just to get just who I look up to, you know, who I really see is really honest about really building it for long term, long term. But a lot of them, they're just in, they're young, they're pretty much, uh, they're just in it for the guts and the glory, you know, the uh, just a quick roller coaster ride, and that's it. And that's how I see it. They, they're not focused on long term compound interest. You know, the rule of 72, they're not playing that game. They're playing, I want quick gains now. Like at the gym, I want quick gains now. I want this. You see me drinking this green, uh, this green juice. You remember that uh, from Ghostbusters, Slimer? They're drinking Slimer juice, like that color. And they're just they're sipping on it, like sucking on it, like. Holy shit, man! But don't, they're you know they just remind me of a lot of a lot of investors. That's how they're that's how they're playing the game. Quick gains. Oh yeah, I got. Look at my one hundred shares and you know Facebook. Look, you know, I'm like, man, why would you even like Facebook? You know that they, they don't even they're not even giving out any dividends. Let me check out Facebook right quick. I I just got a share, but. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of like the strategies is like 
you know, I believe in these companies. You know, I got them right here. Those pretty much, um, you know, my, my I'm pretty much the way the way I'm investing is pretty much you know, um, sixty percent stocks. My strategy for twenty nineteen because I change it from last year. Each year, I reevaluate the way my strategy. So last year, twenty eighteen, my strategy was. Um, 95% stocks and then a mix between like 2.5% um, index funds and 2.5% REITs. So this time around, my strategy for 2019 is 60% stocks, 30% index funds, 5% bonds, ETF, and then 5% REITs. So, I mean, last year, this is what really, I, th these are the big lessons that I learned from last year. You know, this is my second year, so you get better. Just like in the gym, you get stronger, you get better, you get wiser. You start to understand a different type of game in your mind if you're playing it, if you're playing it for truthfully. You know, you're not doing any shortcuts because that's I, I used to live like that, taking shortcuts. So now I'm pretty much I just from finish to start, no shortcuts. Okay, I remember, you know, when it first took off here, as you can see. You know, I was going nuts. I was like, holy shit, what is this? And then, you know, it hit October 1st. And then you know what October 1st is for us. October 1st is fiscal year 2019. You know, in the American system. I don't know. I think Europe and China and everybody else around the world, I think they are they start their years on the beginning of the year. So look at, we're already, already at a head start around the world. You know, because we're already giving, this is when they start printing money out. You go to the uh, mint, the mint for the F the Federal Reserve uh, system in the United States. They start printing, it's printing money for fiscal year twenty nineteen about here, and then boom. And then as you can see, after that, it's just started tanking. Well, bear market, that's what they call it. So pretty much bear market. I rolled that all the way down, and then the day before Christmas. You know, that's pretty much my Christmas gift was, you know, negative uh, about five. Shit, I lost 500 bucks. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just write. You know, I, I, I wasn't in panic mode because I've from other YouTubers. I pretty much listened to their advice and they were saying don't panic. So I pretty much, you know, I was like, OK, let me see if their advice holds holds true. So I I, I held my grounds. And then it went. It started to go back up, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" And then I recovered, and then pretty much this is where we're at today. So I'm up five percent, and um, and I'm up three hundred. So, and then that's pretty much me holding, you know, my port my portfolio at, you know, sixty stocks, sixty percent stocks, thirty percent index funds, five percent bonds ETF, and then five percent REITs. So, and then my stocks, I break those down into twos. Because there's two types of stocks that I've run across. is the growth stocks without dividend funds. And then there's stocks that pay dividend uh, that pay dividends but are slow growth. So I pretty much I invest in both of those. Because I see I see what's the word I'm looking for? I, I see the potential in both of these, you know. So pretty much, you know, I split up my, my stocks, you know, how it's got 60. Now I'm going to go in and, you know, get more detailed. And it's like, okay, because there's two type of stocks, you know, like look at Netflix. Zero, they, and people are going crazy over these things. Zero, you know, and these are just grow, grow stocks, you know, valuation. They don't pay any dividends. That's why pretty much, you know, yeah, you, you get paid in, in, in valuation, but, you know, it's nice to receive those dividends. So now... You know, my 60% is stock. So now I'm looking to see, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to split it that, that 60%, it's going to go into another sub subtopic where, uh, I invest 50% in actual stocks with that pay out dividends. And then the, the remaining 10% I'll invest in come about uh, pretty much growth, growth stocks, valuation Stocks that grow in valuation that don't give dividends. So, and I just noticed people's strategies, like majority of the people I see, they're pretty much tech heavy. They're 100% stocks. They're probably 
have like a couple of REITs, you know, but they're like 95% stocks, 5% REITs. You know, I see a couple, you know, have different ratios. Like I, I seen, you know, someone at least they, they're trying something different or they, they know about, you know, the, the, the allocation of their portfolio where they have 50% in the, uh, index funds and then 50% stocks, you know. But once you start to, to really laser focus into it, oh, man, this is it's a beautiful game to be played, you know, and this is how I'm looking at it. Um, is a game, you know, and I'm having fun with it. I'm not stressing, you know, my, my goal, you know, is it all, but basically, um, I think I was watching, um, a YouTuber, I too, I, I too, uh, independent investor. I mean, he's pretty solid. I mean, you know, I like, I like what he's saying, you know, he, he sounds more professional than everybody else. It just, Yo, look at my portfolio and, you know, there's like really no concepts or no theories behind like how, how they're uh, investing. They're just investing pretty much with a blindfold on and they're just showing you guys, hey, look at, hey, look at my one day. Ooh, look at, look at my one week. Yeah. You know, there's, I mean, they're, they're already popping bottles like they, they won a championship, you know, they're like three months, you know, they just did a cartwheel and then one year they're, you know, they're fucking hanging from the ceiling. So I'm pretty much just like, man, you know, this, once you under, this is like, you got to understand like how really, what really goes on. Like, and then pretty much you're, you want to protect your portfolio. You always want that percentage to be positive. I seen a, a YouTuber today, you know, like, I mean, you know, I, I give him respect that he even showed his, um, his all, you know what I'm saying? Like that to me, like, like I, I respect people with courage and not ashamed, like, cool you know you're working on it you acknowledging it that's dope you know not like a lot of people they're not even going to confront it they're going to dance around the all i'm telling you this is where it's at you're all if you're putting your money in, you want to see how it's how how you have all your shares all together you know whether you do the hundred shares you know in facebook however you want to do it but look at your all you know and pretty much you know stocks are very volatile that I mean, this is what, I'll never do this. I'll never make the same mistake again. You know, I don't know if you guys are looking at your mistakes, reviewing them and going over them and, and really thinking about, oh man, you know, you know, what can I do to prevent that from ever happening again? Because look at that. Nobody wants to lose that. So getting back to this, uh, pretty much I have 77 assets under management. So as you can see, uh, they range from highest to lowest in valuation. This is pretty much I have this here because I still have to uh, organize this. I usually post this on my LinkedIn, uh, Facebook. I got a face uh, biz, uh, business page on Facebook. Then I, I post it on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and then uh, what's the last one? Uh, Pinterest. I organize it there, you know. But pretty much, these are my seven seven assets under under management. And trust me, this is not you got. Don't get intimidated by this. Do not get intimidated. This is just I'm covering all my sectors. I'm covering them all. I index funds are in here, as you can see. Uh, once I hit a hundred, I'm gonna review um all one hundred assets that I have under management. I mean, it's simple, it, you know, like, what a feeling, you know, because people are so intimidated. Look, I got one by Manchester United. I got an international. Um, I always go to the five year so I can look at the whole story. So it peaked on August 31st, 2018. I mean, people, there's so many, stock, there's so many companies out here that people are missing. You know, this, all I hear is Facebook. NVIDIA, Google, Apple, you know, those, okay, those are the big tech stocks, woo whip de doo but look at the other uh, companies out there, this pays a dividend yield, a point eighty seven. this is a company from uh, pretty much England, I mean, this is not going anywhere, you guys, this is not going anywhere, see, I purchased on, you know, the first of, uh, the beginning of the, uh, of the year, adding some, 
added some diversification into my portfolio to balance to balance out my my GPA. I, I know there's a term for it, but I because I'm a student, I'm just used to the 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 educational uh, terminology. But um, but that's it. The all you know. Look at that. Okay, as I was yeah, as you can see, it it ranges from a thousand all the way down to what just. Start investing in something small. Companies you know. Start researching them. Uh, a lot of these companies I found on uh, Robinhood. Robinhood has pretty much opened my mind up to a whole nother world. And plus, I'm able to research because of you know be being an investor. You know, all the way down to a dollar. All the way down to a dollar. You know, these these were given to me by um, uh, Robinhood. And then my watch list. As you can see, Berkshire, you know, that Berkshire, uh, the A, uh, this is uh, Seaboard, this is Booking Holdings, Amazon, AutoZone, look at this is Chipotle, Sherwin-Williams, BlackRock, Iquix, this is Boeing, this is O'Reilly, Charter, I mean, it pretty much goes, the list goes on and on, and I'm going to purchase all these, FICO, Goldman Sachs. I'm, I'm gonna uh, S and P Global, Home Depot, uh, General Dynamics, Clorox, IBM, uh, PNC Financial, Dollar General, Pepsi, the Nasdaq, Skyworks. Can't remember what STT is. Oh, State Street. Uh, State Street. They own uh, the Spiders. P Car. Uh, City Group. I mean, the list goes on, and these are gonna all get bought. This is one eight hundred flowers. Um, I know for next Valentine's, uh, check this out. You know, this is. I mean, this is gonna be around. Pretty much, it peaked. Yeah, it peaked this year. It has never gotten that high before. Well, it doesn't pay any dividend yields. Um, when had, it was founded in 1976, headquarters in Carly Place, New York. I mean, it, it, this war it's a whole. It's like me discovering new companies. It's like me discovering like the bottom of the ocean or exploring in outer space. That's how I'm taking this investing to make it more fun, more explore more. You know, find out what there's other companies out there. Just, just when your mind is just on pretty much what everybody else is on, the popular stocks. So, um, and my strategy is to pretty much to build my foundation. And and I'm seeing now that my foundation is going to be 500, uh, 500 assets under management. Once I get 100, I'll be able to evaluate, you know, then I'll get the next 100, then the next 100, and that's how I'm going. I'm not going shooting, break, it, break them down, you know. I'm also going to throw, I don't know what I'm going to do once I reach my 100 assets under management. I might treat myself to Hawaii. You know. Give yourself like, I, I noticed you got to give yourself like a mission. And this is what I'm doing with this. Give it, make it force myself to, to explore more. So, so enough of that. Um, pretty much I'm going to give you six finance companies, probably heard of a couple of them, but these are the last six. So let's jump into it. Okay. The first finance company is Hercules, Hercules Capital. Okay. Let's go to the five year. Okay, as you can just find the peak. Say this is the peak. It peaked on August 1st, 2014 at $16.68. Currently in, in a bear market. Market price $12.94. About Hercules Capital Incorporated, also called Hercules Capital, is a specialty finance company which focuses on providing senior 
secured loans to high growth innovative venture capital backed companies in a variety of technology life sciences and sustainable and renewable technology industry the company was founded by Manuel A Henriquez in December 2013 and is headquartered in Pal Palo Alto California that's where I'm at well Bay Area not actually in pa Palo Alto oh also speaking of Palo Alto um, I'm gonna do um, a video on Robin Hood. I'm going to go to their headquarters. It's down in uh, pa Palo Alto. So I'm going to uh, shoot that for my curiosity and then post it so you guys can see any of you guys that are pretty much invested in Robin Hood to find out like what they're really all about. I want to, you know, get more. I want to know who the people are, the crew, you know, the building, the atmosphere, the culture, the society the economy so uh the current ceo is manuel a henriquez employees 67 headquarters palo alto california founded in 2003 market cap 1.25 billion pe ratio 10.34 dividend yield 9.45 hella high buy 82 percent hold 18 percent those two together more than 75%. That's the first finance company. The second finance company is Sally May. Okay, let's look at the five year for Sally May. Uh, Sally May peaked on April 21st, 2017 at $12.80. Uh, current market price eleven dollars and thirty five cents. About SLM Corp engages in the origination, servicing, and administration of education loans. Its services include private education loans, banking, college savings, and insurance services. The company was founded in nineteen seventy two, and is headquartered in Newark, Delaware. The current CEO is Raymond J. Quintlin. Employees, 1,500. Headquarters, Newark, Delaware. Founded in 1972. Market cap, $4.95 4 P.E. ratio, 10.53. Dividend yield, zero. Buy, 100%. So that's Sally May. The third finance company is Orchard. Island Capital. Okay, let's look at the five year. Uh, peaked on October 24th, 2014, at $14.68. Currently in a bear market, market current market price, $7.07. .07. About Orchard Island Capital Incorporated, also called Orchard Island Capital, is a finance company which engages in the investment in residential mortgage-backed securities, RMBS. Its portfolio consists of the following agencies, RMBS, Traditional Pass-Through Agency, RMBS, and Structured Agency, RMBS. The Pass-Through Agency, RMBS, invests in pass-through securities, which are which are securities secured by residential real property. The structured agency, RMBS, involves collateralized mortgage obligations, interest-only securities, inverse interest-only securities, and principles-only securities. The company was founded on August 17, 2010, and is headquartered in Vero Beach, Florida. The current CEO is Robert E. Coley, employees not listed, Headquarters, Vero Beach, Florida, founded in 2010, market cap 367.92 million, PE ratio not listed, that's unusual to see those those two like that, dividend yield 18.10%, wow, I mean, that's I've never seen a dividend yield so high, but, you know, this is very questionable because of these two, so I'm going to have to do further research on, on this company. I see what the ratings say. Okay, it doesn't even have a ratings listed. So, 
That's the third finance company. The fourth finance company is Wisdom Tree. As you can see, Wisdom Tree uh, is pretty much owns the Wisdom Tree ETFs. As you can see, Wisdom Tree Japan, Wisdom Tree Europe, Wisdom Tree India, Wisdom Tree Emerging Markets, Wisdom Tree US. So pretty much I found this, um, pretty much I have added this to my index funds where um, I discovered Wisdom Tree and then I discovered uh, Power Shares, which is owned by in Invesco from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, Wisdom Tree. Uh, it peaked on August 7, 2015, at $24.52. Currently in a bear market. Market price $6.92. Wisdom Tree Investments Incorporated operates as, a, as an asset management company that focuses on exchange traded products, ETPs. It distributes ETPs within the asset management industry, including brokerage firms, registered investment advisors, institutional investors, private wealth managers, and discount brokers. The firm offers products on covering equities, fixed income, currencies, commodities, and alternative strategies. The company was founded by Jonathan L. Steinberg on September 19, 1985 and is headquartered in New York City, New York. The current CEO is Jonathan Lawrence Steinberg. Employees 204. Headquarters New York City, New York. Founded in 1985. Market cap 1.06 billion. P.E. ratio 31.01. That's pretty high. Dividend yield 1.80. Buy 23%. Hold 46%. Uh, those two together, right under 75%. But still, um, since it's a big ETF company, and it says sell 31%. That's so. And that's how I found that was through. Uh, exploring my other ETF options. Uh, the fifth finance company is Genworth Financial. Let's go to the five year. As you can see, uh, it peaked back on May 9th, 2014 at $18.22. Currently um, in a bear market for the longest current market price four dollars and fifty five cents about Gen Genworth Financial Incorporated also called Genworth Financial is a financial services company which engages in the provision of insurance wealth management investment and financial solutions it operates through the following segments US mortgage insurance Canada mortgage insurance Australia mortgage insurance U.S. life insurance and runoff. The U.S. mortgage insurance segment offers mortgage insurance products, predominantly insuring prime-based individually underwritten residential mortgage loans. The Canada mortgage insurance segment offers flow mortgage insurance and also provides bulk mortgage insurance that aids in the sale of mortgages to the capital markets and helps lenders manage capital and risk in Canada. The Australia mortgage insurance segment offers flow mortgage insurance and selectively provides bulk mortgage insurance that aids in the sale of mortgages to the capital markets and helps lenders manage capital and risk. The U.S. life insurance segment offers long-term care insurance products as well as service traditional life insurance and fixed annuity products in the United States. The runoff segment includes the results of non-strategic products, which are no longer actively sold but continue to serve its existing blocks of business. Its non-strategic products primarily include variable annuity, variable life insurance, institutional, corporate-owned life insurance, and other accident and health insurance products. The company was founded in 1871. Been around.
and is headquartered in Richmond, Virginia. The current CEO is Thomas J. McIrney. Employees, 3,500. Headquarters, Richmond, Virginia. Founded in 1871. Market cap, 2.228 billion. P.E. ratio, 19.55. Dividend yield, zero. Last but not least is MoneyGram. I'm giving I'm giving companies from the highest in the sector in value weight to the lowest. So people can have a chance in the field to feel what it feels like. Because that's how I started. I just started buying one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar. Then I started hitting twenty and I started getting a little brave. I was like, okay, let me do a little forty. Fifty it, it, that's how I'm building, just like how I'm building in the gym. Little small gain daily gains. Daily gains. There's no need to rush and get so big so quick so I guess people are not accustomed to that um, uh, MoneyGram peaked on April 28, 2017 at $17.81 currently as you can see in a downward trend in a bar, bear market uh, current market market price $2.48 about MoneyGram International Incorporated, common stock, also called MoneyGram, is a global payment services company which offers global money transfers, bill payment solutions, and money orders. The company operates through two business segments, global funds transfer and financial paper products. The global funds transfer segment provides money transfer services. The financial paper product segment offers money orders to consumers through retail and financial institutions. The company was founded on June 30th, 2004 and is headquartered in Dallas, Texas. The current CEO is W. Alexander Holmes. Employees 2,936. Headquarters Dallas, Texas. Founded 2004. Market cap 156.80 million. P.E. ratio not listed. Dividend yield zero. Buy zero, hold 63%, sell 38%. So as you can see, very volatile. But this is just for people that, you know, as myself, since I've used it growing up, that's another reason why I listed it. I used it growing up a lot, um, especially for global transactions. So I believed in it. It worked, you know. I sent money, I received money, so this is what, back then they were in Walmarts, I don't know if they're still in Walmarts now, I haven't, I haven't seen them lately, I haven't been to a Walmart in a minute, so, in conclusion, Hercules Capital, one share of Hercules Capital is $12.89, dividend yield 9.45. Sally May. One share of Sally May is $11.30, dividend yield 0. Orchard Island Capital. One share of Orchard Island Capital is $7.07, .07, dividend yield 18.10. Wisdom Tree. One share of Wisdom Tree is $6.54. Dividend yield 1.80. Genworth Financial. One share of Genworth Financial is $4.57. Dividend yield zero. Last but not least is MoneyGram. MoneyGram. One share of MoneyGram is $2.20. Dividend yield zero. Outro. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Like if the content was inspiring for you. And share this information with other global stock investors. Until next time, let your compound interests make you a millionaire.